Welcome back. Today we're going to take a detailed look at the PTZ Roadster. The inspiration for this car was, you know, when you go to car shows and you see all these concept cars from all the major car companies sitting there and you think, boy, wouldn't it be great to be able to get that actual model and drive that on the street? This is what I wanted to do, get as close as I could to a concept car look and feel, but do it in a way that people could actually customize their PT Cruisers and get a look like this if they really wanted to do it. Because of the time restraints we had on getting the car built for the SEMA show, the only way we were able to do it was to go to our existing inventory and pull some parts off the shelf. We used our cowl induction hood, we used our smoothie front fascia, and we used our Roadster grill. We also used our fiberglass wide body front fenders that are available for the two door wide body kit. We were able to go to the rear and uh, use our wide body rear two door panel we were able to just use the bottom section of it so we had the wide fender and all of that done. Jesse James gave us some really cool rims for the car but they're 22 inch wheels so it was a bit of a challenge getting, getting something to fit those but because we were able to use the fiberglass panel we were able to set it out and then bond it in place and work from there. What I liked about this was we could wrap the panel all the way around the wheel and sort of curve back under like what they do on the custom Harleys and stuff. On our roll pan here, we took our existing wide body roll pan and we, we used our Illusion rear roll pan and we combined the two looks together. So it's a little longer than a normal roll pan, a little lower to make the car again look lower down and with the Illusion roll pan you get the exhaust coming out closer to the edge of the car which uh, from the back view makes the car look lower. Definitely the most unique feature on the PTZ Roadster would have to be its ability to change three different tops that we have for it. In five minutes, two guys can literally change any of these tops. For the Phaeton top to flow really nice with the car, we decided that the rear of the car needed to be cut and moved forward so you'd get a continual flow. On the factory PT Cruiser, it was too straight up and down and the roof didn't flow nice with the back. So when you see the Phaeton top on, it's one continual flow all the way into the roof with the oval rear window and everything. And it looks like an old 39 Mercury or old 39 Ford or something like that. It has that two-door sedan feel to it. The entire interior was molded from uh, modeler's foam, like it's like a surfboard foam material. And um, what we did was glued blocks of the foam all the way in there. And then we got in there and we actually hand shaped, hand sanded all of the foam. Me and another gentleman were inside here for two months straight, seven days a week, uh, just sculpturing this thing. Trying to get a left side and a right side to, to be within a sixteenth of an inch was a huge uh, problem, but we got it. We kept the air conditioning and the heater and the radio and that's really all we really kept. Everything else is basically handmade. I wanted to have a steering wheel that was something different than anybody had seen and it ended up we thought it looked like an old uh, Spitfire aeroplane or something so we went one step further and did the little nose art on it. I wanted some custom seats that were floating off the ground like the concept cars would have, where when you looked from the side view you didn't see underneath the seats. 